All right, so I had a huge shopping haul today. I didn't expect it to be as large. I'll go through quickly because cause there's a lot. There's this plus another table over it that way. Um, my first thing was just a self-indulgence indulgent splurge. The Hogwarts Express Diagon Alley 3D puzzle. I'll have fun with that. And I use them as decoration. So um, I'll make that. And then I've got uh, milk, hot chocolate mix, because we're getting close to out. Um, I usually put from the big container, because it's a, it's a big can, I'll refill the small can and keep that in storage so that it's not on our counter. And then I've got some strawberries, uh, olives, best kind of olives. These are the only kind that, the Lindsay olives are the only kind that I can, I like enough to kind of eat from the can. Um, got mac and cheese, it's just a craft dinner. I was going for a 12 pack, but they had um, boxes of 18 instead for like the same price. So yeah, I got that. Got some butternut squash raviolis, some uh, three cheese tortellinis, there's three of those. Uh, some broccoli cheddar soup, that'll be kind of two, two meals. Uh, probably this week and then next week. I got a couple of double smoked cheddar cheeses, a pesto Kirkland, best kind. Got a thing of the little oranges and a thing of lemons, a thing of tomatoes. Um, then I got, let's see, a little scoop over that stuff for the moment. Got some granola to go with the strawberries. Some stuffed gnocchi. That'll make one, kind of one good meal. Um, got some maple syrup. We were getting close to out. Some parmesan cheese. I was looking for the, um, the, the petals of parmesan cheese, but they just had grated, so I went with that. Uh, egg whites. I end up going through a fair number of egg whites, and I'll usually mix like one whole egg with a bunch of egg white for my um, scrambled eggs or omelets, that sort of thing. Got some crispy chicken tenders, the vegetarian chicken tenders. Uh, some cheese strings, those will go directly downstairs into my mini fridge. Got some bagels, some plain, and some cheddar jalapeno. Uh, a couple, I think it's a pack of four cheese pizzas. We were out, and usually we go through like on one of my night shifts, I'll put in two pizzas and I'll take kind of half of a pizza in with me to work and then the rest of it is our supper and there's a little bit of leftover. Got some garbage bags, some crackers, some coffee pods for me to take into work. Um, unofficially, we give coffee to some, uh, some patients who are really missing their coffee from the outside world because uh, a lot of them still aren't allowed visitors and I think that the visitor policy is probably going to get more strict in the winter so uh, I take some in and a couple of patients every shift pretty much get coffee and and for the actual nurses uh, coffee I'll just put it out in the like in the break room uh, got some Martinelli's if the election goes well, we'll pop a Martinelli's, or if it doesn't, we'll have it at Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. Then I got some of these spinach and egg white frittatas. I've never tried them, but I'm expecting that they will be good, so I got two packs. Um, I like to cook them and then take them into work or cook them at work because they're microwavable. Um, but they make a good breakfast at work. They're kind of self-contained, lots of protein in case they don't get lunch or coffee break or dinner, that sort of thing. Um, then I got some just printer paper. Costco has the 100% recycled paper uh, for cheaper than the same amount of non-recycled paper would be at like Staples or anything, so I get it there. Then I got some just a three pack of Phone charging cables, uh, probably different people for Christmas because everybody always needs one in their stocking. You know, every they they break, you go through them. So I think uh, 
Let's see, we've got two six foot and one ten foot, so probably a brother, sister, mom, people will each get one. Um, I got a book for my sister's kindergarten class. Maybe not for her kindergarten class and just for us here, but it looks good. It, it I mean, it looks cute. And Wild Symphony by Dan Brown. It, it just looks like it's kind of right up her alley. Then I did also get for my uh, yet-to-be-born nephew, we're expecting in January, I got some onesies. They're all three months. That was the smallest size that Costco had. Um, when I was up visiting my brother and his wife and little girl, they're the ones expecting the baby, I was up visiting them last week, and they hadn't gone through their stuff from their daughter yet to know what they had, and she was born in August, and baby's going to be born in January, so kind of opposite. They'll be, they'll need opposite sizes during the season, like at, in the winter she would have needed six month, he's going to need newborn and kind of zero to three. Summer, he's going to need the six to nine. She would have needed like newborn. So anyway, I got a couple long sleeve. They've got little footies. One that's got planets, one and a little, um, uh, like a, a UFO type thing on there. It looks kind of like the lunar lantern. Um, and then one that's got a little bear and one that's got a little elephant with a moon and stars on it. So, got those to send up. Whether we can visit them at any point or not, I don't know. I'm expecting to be up there at Christmas, but I'm also expecting the world can change every any second, so maybe not, but we can mail it. They're little enough to mail. That's the Costco haul. Then I went to uh, Save On Foods and stocked up. I got some cheddar and some Havarti cheese, um, pre-sliced for sandwiches. I use those for work a lot. Um, I also got two things of Monterey Jack cheese sticks. Um, I use those, my mom and my sister, we all take those to work just for a, a protein. Um, I got some goat cheese and sun-dried tomatoes and a couple different kinds of crackers. My sister makes a goat cheese and sun-dried tomato kind of dip. And we're going to have appetizers and a little just household, our own household party while we watch the election. I know that, you know, we won't know the results. And it's not even my own country, but it'll affect me probably more than my own country's elections do. So we'll be watching and trying to keep ourselves, you know... No matter how the election goes, we'll have good snacks. Um, got some lettuce, two things of lettuce, and one of spinach back there. And a salad dressing. I'm looking forward to trying this one. I know I've had it when I was, you know, probably five years ago I had it and really liked it. And I haven't tried it since. So I'm looking forward to having that. As much as one looks forward to salad, I don't really. I got some uh, ice cream sandwiches and ice cream cones no sugar added i don't need the lactose free obviously because of the cheese but i like the uh, no sugar added added got some white chocolate chips just for general baking some m m's to take to work on my night shifts a couple different things of tortillas some tomato and some regular for different wraps some pomegranates mm, inside joke with my sister um stargate fan fiction uh, Thanksgiving with the O'Neills, the uh, Campers series we really like, and it in includes um, pomegranates in one episode, and we it just kind of makes us both smile. So, and they're yummy. Um, I got some wipes. My sister always needs wipes and sprays and cleaners for her kindergarten class. So I got wipes and a spray. Um, she does a lot of uh, laminated stuff in different. Uh, that all the kids use, so she has to clean it between each group. So that's what that's all for. Got a chocolate orange for each stocking. I know it's early, it's just November 1st, or is it the 1st? It, it's November 2nd. Um, but I like to start early. And everybody, it's tradition, everybody gets one of those in their stocking. I also got Christmas colored M&Ms. Um, I'm sure those will be opened tonight because Christmas. 
got a couple butters just for general use and baking probably these will get used up before christmas baking but i like to start stocking up because we do we bake a lot over christmas got some yogurt to go with the granola and strawberries that i got from costco got a couple of dips for my night shifts i didn't get the snap peas i usually take dip and snap peas um but i thought they wouldn't be good anymore by the time my night shift comes so Hopefully it's still okay to go to the stores at that point in time. I'm expecting more um, more strict uh, lockdown measures are on their way to my area probably. So might not be able to. Might have to take just crackers or different things like that. So whatever. Got some uh, smart hot dogs. They're vegetarian. I usually use these as a evening snack if I'm hungry before bed instead of having chocolate because it seems like a smarter idea. Got some big a thing of potatoes. Uh, coffee, it's a local coffee, really good. Uh, corn chips and a thing of rice. And then I got these little hairbands for my two-year-old niece. They're I think the same size as the one that she uses, but the ones she uses are just like rubber like they're plastic and apparently they pull on her hair so I'm hoping that these they're they're the the kind of fabric covered ones hopefully those stay in place but also don't pull her hair as much um I got this book I hope that it's good and a good one to give to my mom for Christmas um, I'm thinking in her stocking I'm trying to get a book to go in everybody's stocking but I don't know. I'll ask my sister if it looks like one my mom would like. Um, and I got baby carrots, broccoli, celery, green onions, and bell peppers. I had produce on my list, so that's what looked good. And then the fun stuff, I got Diet Coke, big container. It's actually 20 cans. And I got some Pepsis. I take these to work on night shifts because I can close them and they'll last me a good number of hours there. A uh, thing of Dr. Pepper. I mean, usually we would get the cans of Dr. Pepper, but they haven't been around since the beginning of the pandemic. So it's been a good six, seven months. But if I put one of these in the fridge kind of at the beginning of a weekend, my mom and I can go through it in a weekend. Mostly me, but my mom, it's my mom's favorite. And I like it more than Pepsi, but less than Coke. But after one's only had Pepsi or Coke for a few months, it's nice to mix it up. And I got this for when the ice starts, because it's, it's never good to um, buy it after you get ice. It's, uh, it's a pet safe, concrete safe, and a lawn safe. Um, way to get grip on ice it's a volcanic materials it just add grip you sprinkle it on top of ice so i got that because i always like i got other stuff before but it wasn't pet safe and if pets licked it then it could cause damage and it could also damage the driveway underneath so i got that and then the one thing that i got because of the imminent possible lockdowns, not lockdowns, but more measures um, that I heard about while I was in the store, um, I got more flour. We have a full thing of flour. We have one that's almost finished and I got another one. It was really hard to find before and we we bake a lot. So I got flour. We'll, we'll have this one and the other one used up, I'm sure by the beginning of this next year. So that's it. It's a uh, time to put it all away.